Hey guys, welcome to a new video of Russian Fishing 4 and today we're going to talk about repairs. How do you repair something, what's required, what isn't and so forth and so on. So first, if you want to repair something, get yourself to a workshop. Now there, each lake has its own workshop and that is why you need to go. Then uh, over here we have to tap a repair, that's the one that we want. And then here we have a bunch of rods and we got a bunch of reels. Now notice that if you have a reel attached to your rod and you want to repair that reel, get that reel off the rod first before you can start doing repairs to it. So here we go. As you guys can see here in the bottom I already have two reels that are being worked on. They're currently in a repair and it takes another 5 hours and 21 minutes. Now note that these are in-game hours. Also note that when you log out of the game, the repair pauses until you get back to into the game. So currently you guys can see over here it's 5 in the morning. That means that at 10 in the morning my reels are done. So these two uh, and one at 9. Um, but I have to say in game for these amount of hours, in game hours, for the repair to complete. So note that you do your repairs uh, at the start of your session, of your play session. Uh, otherwise you'll find yourself in a bit of a pickle at some point. Also, if you have uh, only say two rods and you've got two reels, don't repair them at the same time because then you can't fish anymore. But you can if you still got your bamboo or you still have a fixed pool. Um, but schedule your repairs a bit behind each other if that is the case. Okay, so let's have a look. I've got my Commodore right here. So let's start with reels first, okay? So I've got my Commodore right here. Uh, and now we want to do repair on it. I've got 1% on mechanism, 0.1 on ball bearings, 0.8 at friction break, 0.1 at spool and 1.6 at grease. What are the things that I need to repair? To keep your reel in very good condition, the only things that you need to repair is actually mechanism and grease. Now you want these two to select by pressing and holding the left control. Now you guys can see the repair on this one is pretty steep, but that's also because this is a pretty expensive reel. The cheaper reels they don't cost you that much. It's just these two that you have to keep uh, on, on a regular maintenance, not the rest. The reason if I were to do everything, there you go, now it's 600. The reason that it's 632 is because ball bearings, friction brake and spool, they don't get repaired. Instead, they get replaced with brand new parts. So, um, you're not repairing your ball bearings. They're just putting new, entire new ball bearings on it. So, you're paying full price for those. So, instead, just do mechanism and do grease. Only do these two and your reel will last for a very long, long time. So, here it says then we have the option to instant repair it for gold or to repair with silver but then it's gonna uh, take us some time. So that's one day and nine hours, that's one in-game day and nine in-game hours that it would take for us to repair this. Now don't think, okay, so at one percentage this is 90 silver and 11 cents, so at two percentage it would be the double amount of that, so that's 180 silver and 22 cents, and then at five it will be close to 400. It's not like that, it's not counting money per percentage. It's like a percentage range. So between 1% uh, where and say 10% where you pay this price and then say between 10 and 20 you pay uh, a bit higher amount and then say between uh, 25 and 30 you pay uh, even more and so forth and so on. So don't don't get spooked right now because you see only just one bad percentage and we got to pay this. So 2% will, will be double the money. That's not the case. Um, 
when it comes to a rot, uh, let me grab a rot that has somewhere on it. Here we go. Here it's the same same idea. So you have your blank, you have your line guides. If you got uh, a rot that's uh, has uh, that you can equip with a rule, and then you have handle. Um, the handle and the line guides actually get replaced with a brand new one. So you don't want to do these two. What you do want on regular maintenance is your blank. That is the only thing that you uh, should keep an eye on. Uh, obviously, when these go down to, say, 50%, only then do you bring it in for repair. Currently, the system, uh, so for those of you guys that don't know yet, the game is currently at, say, roughly 40% complete. One of the upcoming features will be that you can take your old rod, which is broken, or your old reel, which is really worn down, take parts from that, use it to repair your other rod. So, for instance, say I, I have a very worn down, excuse me, feeder rod, and I want to repair this Model 2, I can take the line guides from that old rod, put it onto this one, and then repair it. Obviously, the costs are way lower than if you were to replace it, like here. So, um, that's for an upcoming feature. So, if you've got any broken rods, or worn down rods, and you don't want to invest any money in it to, to repair, uh, save them. Save it up. Because later on, it will definitely help you to have those parts and use it in a, in a repair mechanism. Okay, um, so that is basically it. I some I, I get a whole bunch of questions like, uh, uh, when do I need to repair? Well, you want to repair it fairly uh, at the beginning. You don't want the mechanism and the grease to run to say fifty percent, uh, because then chances of you breaking your gear will actually be increased quite a lot. Um, keep these, I, I myself, but that's just my personal flavor, I myself tend to repair these when they are between 10 and 15%. That is when I do my upkeep on these uh, these two. Uh, as for ball bearings, friction break and spool, those I only repair when they hit 50%. Uh, not uh, not any time uh, earlier. Um, because those are the most expensive parts, and it's no use to start replacing these because that's actually what you're doing, and it's no use in replacing them when they're still at say 80 or 90 percent. Uh, well, uh, 10 percent, <laughs> that would be your 20 percent. Okay, um, so uh, one last thing um, when your repairs are done, we'll wait actually for this one to uh, be done, then it will pop up here. We'll get a message. Um, and like I said, each lake has its own repair shop. You do need to go, once the repair is complete, you do need to go to the shop where you brought your stuff in for repair. So currently I'm here at Oldberg. If I want to do my repairs, uh, I've delivered them here in Oldberg. I also have to pick them up at Ulberg. It's not like once they're done with repair they re reappear in your inventory. That's not the case. You've got to pick them up. So just so uh, so you guys know and actually let me... Couldn't pick that one up because it was still in repair but let's grab this one for a second. Come on. Can we innovate? Sometimes it's Sunday evening. <laughs> a lot of folks are online. Uh, if we redo it then. No, it's not showing. Ah, here we go, here we go. Make a print screen with that so we can use that one as a placeholder for the video. Um, another thing, sometimes you'll notice that um, instead of the repair giving you the number in silver, it will actually only give you the number in gold. Uh, what? So this one would not show. What that means is very simple, is that the parts that the shop requires to repair your your reel or your rod are out of stock. What can you do then? You can either wait until the shop is restocked or you can go to another map, 
to another lake and have it fixed over there. And finally, there are differences in prices when it comes to repairing. So say the repair shop at uh, Winding River, that one's very good if you just want to repair one part. But say here at Olberg, if you want to repair multiple parts at once, then Olberg is cheaper. Uh, so hop on to each lake that you have access to, check the prices, make sure they got your stuff installed that you want to have fixed or want to have it repaired. That's actually saying. He's uh, got everything in store, so that's good. Uh, but make sure if you don't want to spend any gold or you don't have any gold and you're you're on on silver only, that they do have the parts for it. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, a bit of a shame if you put it in and then only find out later that only like half of your reel got repaired and the rest not. So uh, that's it. We are waiting for this one. Twenty-two minutes, twenty-one. It says. And then it will be done. Um, is there anything else that I can tell you guys about it? No, I think that is pretty much it. Um, no, yeah, we'll just wait. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. It's not real seconds. That will be a bit faster. But we are almost there. That's wait. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. I went too fast. <laughs> there we go. Now it's, it's less than a minute. And there we go. So now here you get a message. Successful repair Siberia Hydra 35S. So that is uh, the message that will appear when you're done with uh, repairing and when you go back to the workshop. You got to open the workshop otherwise it ma this message doesn't appear. And then when you hit OK it goes back into your backpack. So there you go. Uh, there you guys go. That's how you repair your stuff and also I'll give you guys a little bit of information for the future so like I said if you got anything that's broken don't throw it out keep it because in the future those parts you'll be able to use those and repair your other equipment for it okay guys that's it thank you all so much for uh, watching uh, if you got any questions uh, any comments feel free to leave them down below also make sure to visit the forums r4game.com slash forum uh, and there's a whole bunch of information there and if you can't find the answer to your question don't hesitate to post it there please because um, there there's folks around 24 7 they can help you out um, also don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see me live please visit me on twitch.tv slash lady of games o is a zero uh, I will stream on Mondays and on Thursday, starting at 8pm GMT plus 1, or that is 2pm uh, New York time. Thank you all so much for watching, and hope to see you next time again with another video of Russian Fishing 4. Bye bye!